Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, you know I normally make exposed videos, but today we're going to switch it up and do something a little bit different. I'm going to be going over a remapper program called ReWASD and particularly how to get aim assist on mouse and keyboard. Now, this is one of the weaker methods of cheating that I've found, but at the same time, this can make somebody that's good at the game more consistent. They put the time, practice into it. This is definitely cheating. So, we're going to go over it. Questions, comments, concerns, hit me in the comments down below. Um, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right. So, if you haven't downloaded ReWASD yet, you're going to have to download it. There's a free trial, or you can pay for it. I, back back when, I, when I bought it, it was like a one-time fee for for life so i don't know what uh, you know i'm not going to go over that today but yeah you're going to want to download rewasd and before we get into anything you're going to want to go to whatever you change your dpi with so if it's ghub you're going to want to go to ghub and make sure you have a dpi button or dpi your dpi set to 1200 dpi all right i also add one on a shift button at max DPI and that's for flying in you can you can make your your guy turn in the air with the press of a button if you want 90 degrees 180 degrees but I'm not gonna go into detail on that so I just added a DPI button to go max DPI so I can turn in the air when I'm dropping in it makes it easier and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get in game all right so now if you got your DPI changed you're gonna go back to the web page go to community you're going to type in Warzone. Click on Call of Duty Warzone. And you're going to scroll down and look for a config by the name, a guy who made a config by the name of Warzone Dre WASD. You don't want to click on the, on the config, you want to click on his name. And you'll see how much he's worked on this and why I chose this one. There's a bunch of them. I always go to the second one down because I know this one works. You could try his new one if you want. Don't care. And you're gonna click import config. Once you do that, it'll download. It'll auto and once you once you click on the download, it'll automatically put it in game. I'm gonna name this MKB Aim Assist. You know, but the name's right there. That's how you find it. Import and bam. So now you just want to open your game. Click apply, and it'll give you a hotkey which is the home key you click OK OK and if you're on on a wired mouse on your mouse it has to be wired now it has to be a wired mouse or keyboard you'll hit home to be able to get your mouse back and home again when you're in game to start it alright so when you're not when you're clicking on menus in game you want to click the home key to use your mouse and the home key to you know to go back into controller mode alright alright so now that you got it loaded games loaded you have to change some settings. So you want to go over here to controller. Make sure first you're on controller. All right. You're gonna change dead zones to zero, max dead zones to one. You're gonna put mm, these are just the settings I, I use for this certain config. I go about 14. Some people like 2020, like it faster. If you want to change your sensitivity, this is where you want to do it. You want to do it in game. You also it, you could use change DPI's, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But the main thing to change your sensitivity is going to be in-game. You're going to want to leave the DPI alone and change sensitivity through in-game settings. All right. So we got that. You know, and I'll, I'll fine-tune this as we go. You know, if I need to change the ADS sensitivity or anything like that, you know, we'll change that. You want to be on standard response curve, standard aim assist, all of the above, right? And there you go. That's basically the gist of that. You want to go make sure in your G-Hub, all right? You're gonna want to make sure you're around 1,200 DPI, all right? And this is around, you know, 1,200 to 1,500. That's the best DPI to use for this. And you're gonna want to make sure one of them is set to max DPI, or you know, just higher in general. And this is gonna be used for flying in game. You can make uh, controls with this with REWASD that turn you 180, 360. But I'm not gonna go through all of that today. This is an easy way to fly in game. You'll see what I mean because it's extremely difficult when you're flying in to turn 
unless you cut your DPI up or have a button set to turn a 180 360 for you or something like that. 180, you know, whatever. So you're going to want to make sure you change your DPI. And that's basically it. If you got the sensitivities here, the DPI right, that's basically it. All right, so I'm sorry, I'm going to go into a plunder. You hit home. If you hit home, you'll see it changes your, your input to to controller. If you hit home again, you're able to use your mouse freely in here again. Right? All right. So the home key is your hot key to be able to navigate these menus easier. You can navigate it when it's set to controller, but it's a lot more difficult. So here we go. Let's go. I'm going to go into a plunder. Good thing they have this right now because I definitely don't want to be going into a real game shitting on people with this. You know, and I may or may not shit on people. I don't know. I haven't used this in a minute. But I have put a lot of work and effort into figuring out some of this stuff. And this is just the first thing I'm talking about. So it's just going to be the first thing I'm talking about. I, I got more videos coming when it comes to remappers. I definitely want to get into it and talk more about it because a lot of this stuff, you know, people take this stuff lightly. And it, and it shouldn't be, man. It, it's You can gain a real advantage using something like this if you practice with it now it's not gonna make somebody that sucks magically better but it can make a good player more consistent if they were to consistently play with this over and over again it will make a good player more consistent you i mean you add aim assist the mouse and keyboard i mean you know self-explanatory and look consoles aren't safe from this either you got cronus that can do the same thing you got Zim Apex. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that. It could do the same thing, imitate controller, you know, but you use a mouse and keyboard. All right, now that we're in game, you hit the home key. And you'll see, you see when you fly, if you don't turn the DP up, eye up, you're not going to be able to turn. I'm making multiple mouse swipes with it just to turn right there. So this is one of the hard parts to using this. Cut it back down to 1,200 when you land. And you'll see, bro. I mean, this is pretty smooth, dude. It's pretty smooth. I'm definitely on mouse and keyboard. I'll show you right here. Oh, let me hit the home key. So now I'm back to my mouse. Use my mouse again. Let me cut my cam on. Let me hit the home key. You see me moving around? Look. You see me shooting with a mouse. But you see the controller. You see the controller down by the shield. There's a Y on that. So I'm I'm using a mouse right now. And, and this is controller. It's the setting on in game is controller. So you see, that's just the you know, that's just to show you that I am on mouse and keyboard right now. But the game's registered as a controller. Alright. So let me home key, let me cut my cam off again. Remove that so you can see the gameplay. Alright. Alright. So I'm in a plunder game. You know, I'm not in a regular game. Most people use plunder to, you know, level up their guns. And most of the time they go storage town, so we're just gonna do that, you know, just shoot up some people and show you how this works. So yeah, like I said, you can you can put keys on to make yourself turn faster. I just like turning my DPI up because it's it's extremely easy to do. So you can turn in game. If you if you cut your DPI up, it, it makes it a lot easier to turn while you're in the air. But you know, the easiest way would be a, to make a a hot key for turning while in the air. You know, it'll turn 90 degrees for you if you want turn 180 if you want to do that there's a lot you can do with this it should be underestimating the community this is something people need to talk about man especially when it comes to competing if you play at a high level you play at a high level you know your high kd lobbies you need to know what you are competing against you, you're in tournaments for money you really need to know what you're competing against i mean you see how smooth this is let's hope somebody comes here all right so i mean you'll see I can slide the same, you know, it's just like mouse and keyboard. You can make it better. This, the, the, there's, there's no limit to how good you can make, make the shit with these, with these remappers, bro. And it's the main reason for making this video. I just want to bring awareness to it. You know, I see a lot of people saying like, 
Oh, it's not valid. Cronus is in, Cronus aim assist something out for keyboard isn't valid. Well, bruh, if you were around when Apex rank first dropped, then you ran into some, and especially on consoles, then you ran into some Cronus users. And you know that it, it is a, a definite advantage. It's a definite advantage, especially when you're playing on console. So to anybody who thinks that Cronus, that, you know, it's not good, it's not good if you've tried it and it just wasn't good, you didn't put enough time and effort in, into it. You, you didn't put enough time and effort into it. You put minimal amount of effort and you got minimal results. That's what happened. Maybe eventually we can come across or run across somebody here. I'm just trying to show you how this works. And that it does work. I mean, you see, I'm pretty smooth, man. I This is as close as I've gotten it. Like, just to downloading a config and running. As close as I've, I've seen a, a config get to mouse and keyboard. Like, to the fill. To mouse and keyboard fill. The guy, Dre, who did this, did a very good job. And you'll see a problem with this. If you don't have a recoil set up, is you 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 end up you gotta control the recoil. So like, it'll a lot of times your aim assist will be stuck above people's head. You know, you just simple pull down, man. But there's scripts you can make for that, just to make it shoot straight. I'm pretty sure there's a button in this config that that it's like a gyro button. It acts as a gyro button. So like, when you aim, it just shoots straight. It doesn't go up at all. And that's the main problem with, when you're using something like this. Is like you almost need a recoil config but as you can see i mean it doesn't look like i'm having any trouble you know doing this does it <coughs> you can see it's working bro it's smooth like i said this isn't gonna make somebody magically better at the game but what it will do is make a good player more consistent especially if they practice with it Especially if they practice with it. Now, you add, add this with use of, like, let's say, like, ESP, for instance, bro. Yeah, you're damn near unstoppable, man. You're not going to miss. You're not going to miss a shit. You know? And as you see, I'm not out here going insane. That's not the purpose. You know, I'm not out here trying to go insane with this. I just want to show you how how smooth this can get. And, it, it, you know, I see a lot of people saying it's clunky. Man, this isn't that clunky. I mean, you download, try it yourself if you don't believe me. This is not that clunky, man. It's pretty smooth if you got it set up right here. Man, people are taking plunder serious though right now, man. But yeah, you want to test aim assist? This is probably a good way to do it. I mean, you want to see the limits of aim assist? This is probably a good way to do it. Yo, I killed that guy? What? Yo, what? <laughs> little strafe, man. You get that that little pull, man. If you like test an aim assist, would be this is this is this, the easiest way to do it, right here. Put a mouse and keyboard on aim assist and test it, bro. You really want to test it? This is the easiest way to do it. Taking this shit serious right now, bro. You 
used to switch and, switching guns with his melee key. I mean, you see the movement. This is all mouse and key, man. I mean, for anybody that thinks this can't get very smooth, man, this isn't even the extent of it. This isn't even the extent of what you can do with this. I like researching this stuff because it's insane what people come up with and, and how good you can actually make some of these things, man. I like messing with it. I like tinkering with it, bro. And see, with a recoil script, that guy would have been dead in the first fucking few shots. The simple fact I have to pull down on it. it. It is harder to control recoil on this without a script than it is on a regular mouse or keyboard, to be honest. But with enough practice, I mean, you're beaming people out, th out the air. And with a recoil script, you're, you're insta-beaming people out of the air. I've done it before. I've made my own script for this. i put multiple configs together to make the best possible script you can make. And what you can do with this is actually insane, bro. And and using this to compete for money is, you know, people, if you don't think people are doing this, bro, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Remember, I'm using a gun with some pretty good recoil on it. It's an AK, you know. Not the easiest control. Here, let's go to something different then. Hit that home key. Let's try, let's see, let's try the old meta, the Blixen and, uh, and Cooper. We'll try that. See, it becomes much easier to control when you change the weapon. So yeah, you know, we weren't going in there trying to go hard, you know, just trying to show an example of how this works. And I mean, it's pretty smooth, man. With enough practice, this is going to make somebody who, who's who's good at the game more consistent, inevitably. It'll make somebody more consistent. It's not going to make, you know, make you instantly goaded or anything like that, but it definitely can make a player more consistent. And this is definitely something to worry about. You should be worried about it. With that said, man, it's the end of the video, you know. Hate it or love it, man, but this is this is the route I'm going to start taking. We're, I'm going to start showing, you know, how a lot of this stuff is used and, 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 you know, how people are using it. You know, and this is just the start of it. We're going to start off slow with, with aim, aim assist on mouse and keyboard. And for anybody, like I said, for anybody that thinks this is, this is BS, it's not something that's that great, you know, it doesn't work very good, well, <laughs> follow the steps. Try it yourself. Go test aim assist. Go for it. I mean... That was pretty smooth in my opinion. So anybody saying it's clunky, you know, it's never going to feel exactly the same, of course. But, I mean, that's pretty fucking close, man. So that said, man, I'm out of here. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you like this type of content. You know, I also make exposed videos from time to time. So, you know, you may like those too. Uh, yeah, that said, we out. Peace, peace.